Hi guys, it's me, Marla. I am popping on because it has been one heck of a week and I figured what other time to do an impromptu real talk, hence Sarah not being here, unplanned. But when it's not all sunshine and rainbows and um, you really just feel moved to talk about something. So, you know, I mentioned this has been a real hard week for me. I've had some health challenges um, with my right eye spent most of my week in my bed except for when I was either at the doctor or in the ED and um, turns out thankfully nothing nothing serious um, my as my dad likes to say well your head is clear so that's exciting um, but in all truth that was actually super exciting news but I ended up having a diagnosis of a ocular pseudotumor which basically acts like a tumor behind your eye but you don't really have a tumor, thankfully. So all of the nasty symptoms without um, the nasty diagnosis, thankfully. But nonetheless, it's really made me check out from social media, from my life, more importantly. And um, I really have to say thank you to my dad, my mom, and my mother-in-law, who've been absolutely incredible in caring for my family while I have just been pretty much in my bed trying to recover. So um, it really got me thinking, though. I mean, I'm a person who really takes being healthy and taking care of their body as a priority. And I think, you know, a lot of people look at me and oftentimes think, like, are you overdoing it? Are you a little too crazy about being so health conscious? And my answer to that is no. As someone who has lived with a chronic illness before, I think any time I have these little blips, it reminds me that my health is so important and it is truly worth spending any amount of money to feel good. And I think there was a time when um, I lived in a place where I didn't realize how good my body was meant to feel, but because I no longer live in that place, when I have to be <laughs> pushed back there for whatever reason, when my body is doing its best to fight something but needs a little bit of help, I realized just how much it truly sucks and how I don't want to live in that place and I want to get back to my healthy, active, normal life as quickly as possible. It also gives me, uh, I think these things happen because it gives me a greater appreciation um, to be able to tap into some empathy when my patients are dealing with something chronic. And so, you know, I, it's probably good from a work perspective, bad from a personal and just from my body's perspective. But it really got me to thinking, you know, I try to do so much, but is there more that I can do? And even today, I was listening to a new podcast series called In My Opinion, which is awesome. I totally think you should check it out. But it was talking about celery juice, something I know nothing about, but the benefits seemed like they could be really helpful to me. And so certainly something I will continue to research. And I think my whole purpose here in popping on is to just be like a little reminder <laughs> to appreciate your body and take care of the one body that you have because you don't want to have the reminder come to you because you've already been facing some type of health challenge. I feel like that's the worst type of reminder and this has certainly been one for me and I've realized that I just don't want to live in this place and so I'm urging everybody to do something to make themselves a little bit healthier um, this week and try to incorporate one new thing or something consistently every single day just to know that you're doing something to help to keep your body healthy and I think that would be probably one of the best holiday gifts you can give to yourself to your family to your loved ones and so that was my sort of real talk excuse the pajamas bed setting and the fact that I don't know if my right eye is doing anything funky but I can't really see out of it so we'll see um that was a comment that people kept saying to me oh when you and Sarah did your video you weren't looking at the camera well first of all it was covered in text messages thank you Amy but also this time I'm not looking at the camera because I can't really see so I don't know maybe a third time will be the charm but um you know my second takeaway is give yourself the gift of health my second takeaway is healthcare is so expensive that you'd rather do something good for yourself than having to be paying those bills got that harsh reality as I just heard cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching as they were running off the list of tests that needed to probably be executed but will be super expensive to pay for. So 
this was my little real talk PSA. Hope you got something from it and hope you got the takeaway that you need to do something good for you and not feel bad about it, but feel actually proud that you're doing something to protect and love the body that you're in. Thanks. See you soon. Oh, next real talk is probably coming next week on Wednesday with Marla and Sarah, my favorite topic. So stay tuned.